my second grade artists, we're going to do a mitten. I actually zoomed with some of you earlier. A mitten project uh, for winter. We're getting to the end of winter, but I wanted to remember our elements of art with mittens. I thought this would be a fun project to explore the different elements of art. And so I called them my elementons. So we are going to do whatever you want with your um, crazy imagination. Um, here are some different examples of different mittens. I'm going to walk you through a guided drawing to get the basic outline of a mitten done and then tell you what we're going to do to make it just a little level up from that mitten. So first thing we're going to do is we'll go off the side or the bottom, it doesn't matter, make the arm part and then we'll make the bottom of the mitten and then all the way to the top of your paper, use up the biggest amount of paper you can, down and then bounce back up for the thumb and bounce down. That mitten's gotta be bigger than your arm to fit your hand in there. That's a great shape. So we're gonna take that shape and then break it into the different parts that we are going to explore the different elements of art. And part of breaking it up will be exploring line because we can have bouncy or zigzaggy lines to break it into different um, portions that we are going to explore. So that's the first part is getting yourself those outlines that you can explore into. So I've done one that kind of has a, a fluffy outline and I haven't really I uh, was just exploring the different colors and patterns, and then I thought, why not turn it into a little bit more of elements of art and make us think about what we have learned already about the elements. So there's line, and I've explored wavy and dotted and dashed lines and uh, bouncy lines and square lines and squiggly wiggly lines, and then just added all of them have a color element to them, right? Because that makes it interesting. This one is pure color. I've just done a gradation from red over to pink. This section is our shape section. Remember we talked about geometric shapes and organic shapes. We have both of those in there and then used colors in a fun way in the background, a neutral color that shows up those patterns or those uh, shapes. And this one I put, um, this is our texture element of art. So you can see the different textures that I've shown, the scratchy, the weavy, the pokey, the um, smooth. You can do all sorts of textures here, make it feel like something. Start out with a light color so that the texture color you can put on top of, you can see. And then this one is a space. So remember how overlapping shows space. So I've made these circles, you can do squares, or lines or um, uh, anything on this one. I kind of did my space with all different shapes, but you can see that they're overlapping and you use color to show the overlap. This You can tell that the orange goes behind the blue when you use the overlap that way. So that shows space and gives you the uh, feeling that there's something going on behind and especially using the background color as one color. And then form, we can't really explore form too much, but we get the idea of it with this and also texture, this fuzzy texture we've got on here. But the shadowing on the arm and on the uh, that part of the mitten shows that it's round and that gives you the indication of form. So those are the, all of the elements of our elemitten of art. And I hope you make beautiful big mittens for the end of the winter season with all the elements of art.